Uh, well, hello, I'm Tristan Hillgarth. I'm a fellow of the Society of Antiquities of London, uh, and I have uh, sponsored uh, a three-year project. Uh, and I'd like to introduce you uh, to the people who are uh, running the project. Uh, this is uh, David Roberts and Richard Henry. Now, let me ask, begin by asking David uh, to describe what the project is. Thank you. So, the project is called the Past Landscapes Project. Uh, it seeks to understand the Roman landscapes of southern Wiltshire through archaeological study of metal detector finds and their context in the landscape. So PAS, the Port of Antiquities Scheme, for whom Richard works, um, collect a wide range of data from metal detectorists about their finds and the finds locations. The point of the project is to take that on further and attempt to understand why particular places produce large numbers of finds. And can you tell me how uh, the Society of Antiquaries of London's um, three-year grant has, uh, has helped and what, uh, um, and what you're spending it on? Definitely. Um, the real strength of the three-year grant and the size of grant the antiquaries were able to give us is that it demonstrates that the project will have momentum, guaranteed momentum for three years. That's really important in leveraging other funding from elsewhere. Okay. Secondly, the kudos and reputation of the antiquaries really strengthens those other grant applications and demonstrates the academic seriousness of the project. Mm -hmm. yeah. And finally, it's allowed us to employ professionals on the project to perform a whole range of tasks from conservation to the recording of the metal detected finds um, from a particularly important landscape that we've chosen to focus on um, to the excavation of a particularly threatened part of that landscape. We do, we do have a range of finds that are quite uh, well, very significant. Um, we, we have, for example, the only copper alloy miniature vessel of an amphora that I can find a parallel for. And from the adjacent field, the finder, the metal detectorist, also reported the, and recorded with us the largest cross pen hammer, which is a form of hammer that's been recorded that we know of from this country. And it's now been donated to the British Museum, and it should go on display in the coming months. So that's the largest hammer ever found in Rome, Britain, mm -hmm. in one field, and in the next field, a temple at which a miniature hammer of exactly the same type is deposited in a votive manner. Now, it doesn't take a great leap of faith to suggest that that's perhaps a working context and then a religious context of those mm -hmm. who work with iron. Well, that's absolutely fascinating. Thank you both very much for, for coming in. Um, I know you've got two more years of hard work before the project is finished. And uh, I do hope that um, when it's all done and you've um, completed your publication, that you will come uh, and uh, present a public lecture here at the Society of Antiquities of London, which we will be thrilled uh, to, to host for you. Thank you very much. Um, and I'd like to thank the antiquaries for their support because without them, this project really wouldn't happen.